Welcome back to Final Football. I have another exciting review for you guys today. Today's review is going to be on the Zenith X2 e football helmet. Some of the things that I'm going to cover in this detailed review are just the differences between the X2e and the original X2. I'm going to take a look at the protection, the comfort, the ease of everyday cleaning, the weight, and then the price and just the availability of the helmet. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start by taking a closer look at the X2e. Here's a clear shot of the front, the side of the helmet, the back of the helmet, the other side, and here's a good look at the inside of it. One of the things that you probably noticed was the shell looks a lot like the original X2. That's because it is. The main differences with the X2e and the X2 are going to be the insides of it. So there's two different shock absorber heights which is different than the X2. The X2 only has one and that's to maximize the space in the shell. And then also the comfort pads are different than the X2. These comfort pads in the X2e are made of a vinyl nitrite foam. That makes it a little bit easier to clean as well as a little bit more comfortable. You probably notice that the face mask is a lot different from anything that you've ever seen from Zenith before. There's three new face masks that are going to be available at the same time as the X2e. However, these face masks fit the original X2 and they fit the X2e. They don't fit any other helmet like Shutt, Riddell, Rawlings, or any other brand. The three new face mask styles are going to be the Prime, which is for skilled players as you see here. Then you'll have the Pursuit, which is for linemen, and then you have the Prowl, which I think is more for linebackers and running backs. The other difference with the face mask is right now, the three new face masks are only available in carbon steel. While all of the original Xenon face masks are available in carbon steel and titanium, and will fit on the X2E as well. Now let's talk a little bit about the protection of the helmet. I used the helmet for Team USA in France, as you probably saw on my Facebook or Instagram, and there were a couple of times during the game where my head slammed against the ground. I think the shock absorbers did a great job of protecting me because I couldn't really feel uh, any of the hits that I took, I could only hear them. The helmet also comes with an exclusive Zenith chin strap. You can see the outside of it is hard here for additional maximum protection. And during the game and after the game, I didn't feel any headaches. My head never hurt uh, the whole time I was using it during practice or during the game. And for that reason, I give this helmet a 9 out of 10 protection rating. This is easily one of the most comfortable helmets on the market. The comfort pads do a good job of supporting your head. If you look at the back of the helmet right here, these pads support the base of your neck between your neck and your head. This is something that the SureFit liner in the Vengeance do and something that the occipital liner in the Revo 360 do. The difference between this helmet and those other helmets is that the chin strap is integrated right into the shell. So I'll show you how to put it on later, but when you pull it, it fully secures your head. You can get different size shock absorbers for this helmet that fit into different places in the interior of it, and you can finally tune the sizing of the helmet with the comfort pads. There's some good things and some bad things about the comfort pads, and I'll go into the detail with you. Some of the advantages to having comfort pads are having no air bladder. Having no air bladder means that you don't have to adjust the air in your helmet before every practice in every game. It also means that you don't have to worry about popping an air bladder over the lifetime use of your helmet. However, there are some disadvantages to having no air bladder in the helmet. This makes adjusting your helmet on the fly rather difficult. For example, if you decide you want to wear a skull cap one game, you would have to readjust your helmet and readjust your chin strap. If you got a different haircut from one week to the next, you would also have to readjust your helmet and readjust your chin strap. For those of you who have adjusted your chin strap before, you know how difficult this can be. If you had an air bladder, you would just inflate or deflate air and you would get that adjustment just right. For this reason, this helmet gets an 8 out of 10 for comfort. This helmet is super easy to clean, probably one of the easiest on the market. The reason is the vinyl nitrate comfort pads on the inside. You can really just take a cloth to disinfect the inside by wiping it down or you can take out each of the pods and you can wipe those down. The only difficult thing is you have to remember where to put the pods in the helmet after you've taken them out, which shouldn't be really difficult. For this reason, this helmet gets a 9.5 out of 10 for ease of everyday cleaning. Playing with this helmet and practicing in this helmet felt super light on my head. In fact, right out of the box, the helmet felt super light. I even thought that it might have a titanium face mask, the helmet was that light. As it turns out, these new face masks by Zenith only come in carbon steel. However, all the original traditional styles from Zenith are available in titanium, which makes it really interesting to see how light this helmet could be with a titanium face mask. But as it stands right now, with the carbon steel prime face mask, it felt about as light as the speed when I was wearing it. I don't have any official weights at all, uh, but it did feel light on my head. I didn't have a problem turning. I didn't have a problem with the visibility or anything like that. So with that being said, for weight, I give this helmet an 8 out of 10. The last thing you guys are probably wondering is, how much is this helmet? When does it come out and where can you get it? Right now, I've seen for an adult helmet that this will probably be priced about $235 and for a youth helmet, it will be priced about $145. Everything that I've read on the internet says the helmet's coming out February 17th, so that's as much information I have right now and you will be able to order this directly from Zenith. Of course, you guys wanted to see how it looks on head, so here you go. 
Here's how the helmet looks, and here's how easy it is to tighten the helmet. You just pull the straps to the side, and I can feel the helmet go securely around my head, and then you buckle the straps. If you like my review, remember to give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.